A short story is a piece of prose fiction that typically can be read in one sitting and focuses on a self-contained incident or series of linked incidents, with the intent of evoking a single effect or mood, however there are many exceptions to this. A dictionary definition is an invented prose narrative shorter than a novel usually dealing with a few characters and aiming at unity of effect and often concentrating on the creation of mood rather than plot. The short story is a crafted form in its own right. Short stories make use of plot, resonance, and other dynamic components as in a novel, but typically to a lesser degree. While the short story is largely distinct from the novel or novella, a shorter novel, authors generally draw from a common pool of literary techniques. Short story writers may define their works as part of the artistic and personal expression of the form. They may also attempt to resist categorization by genre and fixed formation. Short stories have deep roots and the power of short fiction has been recognized in modern society for hundreds of years. The short form is, conceivably, more natural to us than longer forms. We are drawn to short stories as the well-told story, and as William Boyd, the award-winning British author and short story writer has said, short stories seem to answer something very deep in our nature as if, for the duration of its telling, something special has been created, some essence of our experience extrapolated, some temporary sense has been made of our common, turbulent journey towards the grave and oblivion." In terms of length, word count is typically anywhere from 1,000 to 4,000 for short stories, however some have 20,000 words and are still classed as short stories. Stories of fewer than 1,000 words are sometimes referred to as short short stories or flash fiction. Today. 21st century short story writers run into the thousands. Global sales of short story fiction are still going strong. In the UK sales jumped 45% in 2017, driven by collections from international names such as Alice Munro, new writers to the genre such as Tom Hanks, and the revival of short story salons, such as those held by short fiction company, Pin Drop Studio. More than 690,000 short stories and anthologies were sold in the UK in 2017, generating £5.88 million, the genre's highest sales since 2010. Topic. Short story salons In 2012 Pin Drop Studio launched a short story salon held regularly in London and other major cities. Short story writers who have appeared at the salon to read their short stories to a live audience include Ben Ockrey, Lionel Shriver, Elizabeth Day, A. L. Kennedy, Will Self, William Boyd, Graham Swift, David Nichols, Will Self, Sebastian Folkes, Julian Barnes, Evie Wilde and Claire Fuller. Topic: <laughs> Short Story Awards. Prominent short story awards such as the Sunday Times Short Story Award and the Pin Drop Studio Short Story Award, attract hundreds of entries each year. Published and non-published writers take part, sending their stories from all corners of the world. In 2013, Alice Munro was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature. Her citation reads, Master of the Contemporary Short Story. She said she hopes the award would bring readership for the short story, as well as recognize the short story on its own merit, rather than something that people do before they write their first novel. Topic. Adaptations Short stories are sometimes adapted for radio, TV and film. Radio dramas, as on NBC Presents, Short Story, 1951-52. A popular example of this is The Hitchhiker, read by Orson Welles. 
Short films, often rewritten by other people, and even as feature-length films, such as the case of Children of the Corn, The Shawshank Redemption, The Birds, Brokeback Mountain, Who Goes There, Jewel, A Sound of Thunder, The Body, Total Recall, The Lawnmower Man, Hearts in Atlantis, and the Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Television specials, such as 1201 p.m. 1993 television movie, Nightmare at 20,000 Feet, October 11, 1963, on The Twilight Zone, The Lottery, and Button, Button, on The Twilight Zone. Topic. Length Determining what exactly separates a short story from longer fictional formats is problematic. A classic definition of a short story is that one should be able to read it in one sitting, a point most notably made in Edgar Allan Poe's essay, The Philosophy of Composition. 1846, interpreting this standard nowadays is problematic, because the expected length of one sitting may now be briefer than it was in Poe's era. Short stories have no set length. In terms of word count there is no official demarcation between an anecdote, a short story, and a novel. Rather, the form's parameters are given by the rhetorical and practical context in which a given story is produced and considered, so that what constitutes a short story may differ between genres, countries, eras, and commentators. Like the novel, the short story's predominant shape reflects the demands of the available markets for publication, and the evolution of the form seems closely tied to the evolution of the publishing industry and the submission guidelines of its constituent houses. As a point of reference for the genre writer, the science fiction and fantasy writers of America define short story length in the Nebula Awards for Science Fiction submission guidelines as having a word count of fewer than 7,500 words. Long Longer stories that cannot be called novels are sometimes considered novellas or novelettes and, like short stories, may be collected into the more marketable form of collections, often containing previously unpublished stories. Sometimes, authors who do not have the time or money to write a novella or novel decide to write short stories instead, working out a deal with a popular website or magazine to publish them for profit. Topic. History The precursors of short story were legends, mythic tales, folk tales, fairy tales, fables and anecdotes which were present in various ancient communities across the world. These short pieces existed mostly in oral form and they were transmitted from one generation to another in oral form. A large number of such tales are found in ancient literature, from the Indian epics the Ramayana and the Mahabharata to the Homeric epics the Iliad and the Odyssey. The 1001 Arabian Nights, compiled for the first time probably in the 8th century, is also a storehouse of Middle Eastern folk tales and fairy tales. Emerging in the 17th century from oral storytelling traditions and above mentioned written works of the ancient times, which themselves are based on oral traditions, the short story has grown to encompass a body of work so diverse as to defy easy characterization. With the rise of the realistic novel, the short story evolved in a parallel tradition, with some of its first distinctive examples in the tales of E.T.A. Hoffman. The character of the form developed particularly with authors known for their short fiction, either by choice they wrote nothing else or by critical regard, which acknowledged the focus and craft required in the short form. An example is Jorge Luis Borges, who won American fame with The Garden of Forking Paths, published in the August 1948 Ellery Queen's Mystery Magazine. Another example is O. Henry, author of Gift of the Maggie for whom the O. Henry Award is named. Other of his most popular, inventive and most often reprinted stories among over 600 include The Ransom of Red Chief, The Cop and the Anthem, The Skylight Room, 
After 20 years. A municipal report, an unfinished story, a lickpenny lover, Mammon and the Archer and the Last Leaf. American examples include, Jack London, Ambrose Bierce, F. Scott Fitzgerald, Ernest Hemingway, William Faulkner, Flannery O'Connor, John Cheever, and Raymond Carver. Science fiction short story with a special poetic touch was a genre developed with great popular success by Ray Bradbury. The genre of the short story was often neglected until the second half of the 19th century. The evolution of printing technologies and periodical editions were among the factors contributing to the increasing importance of short story publications. Pioneering role in founding the rules of the genre in the Western canon include, among others, Rudyard Kipling, United Kingdom, Anton Chekhov, Russia, Guy de Maupassant, France, Manuel Gutierrez Nahera, Mexico, and Rubén Darío, Nicaragua. An important theoretical example for storytelling analysis is provided by Walter Benjamin in his illuminated essay The Storyteller where he argues about the decline of storytelling art and the incommunicability of experiences in the modern world. Oscar Wilde's essay The Decay of Lying and Henry James's The Art of Fiction are also partly related with this subject. Topic: <laughs> Predecessors Short stories date back to oral storytelling traditions which originally produced epics such as the Ramayana, the Mahabharata, Homer's Iliad and Odyssey. Oral narratives were often told in the form of rhyming or rhythmic verse, often including recurring sections or, in the case of Homer, Homeric epithets. Such stylistic devices often acted as mnemonics for easier recall, rendition and adaptation of the story. Short sections of verse might focus on individual narratives that could be told at one sitting. The overall arc of the tale would emerge only through the telling of multiple such sections. The other ancient form of short story, the anecdote, was popular under the Roman Empire. Anecdotes functioned as a sort of parable, a brief realistic narrative that embodies a point. Many surviving Roman anecdotes were collected in the 13th or 14th century as the Gesta Romanorum. Anecdotes remained popular in Europe well into the 18th century, when the fictional anecdotal letters of Sir Roger de Coverley were published. In India, there is a rich heritage of ancient folk tales as well as compiled body of short fiction which shaped the sensibility of modern Indian short story. Some of the famous Sanskrit collection of legends, folktales, fairy tales and fables are Panchatantra, Hitapadesha and Kathasaritsagara. Jataka Tales, originally written in Pali, is a compilation of tales concerning the previous births of Lord Gautama Buddha. The frame story or frame narrative or story within a story is a narrative technique which probably originated in ancient Indian works such as Panchatantra. In Europe, the oral story-telling tradition began to develop into written stories in the early 14th century, most notably with Geoffrey Chaucer's Canterbury Tales and Giovanni Boccaccio's Decameron. Both of these books are composed of individual short stories which range from farce or humorous anecdotes to well-crafted literary fictions set within a larger narrative story, a frame story, although the frame tale device was not adopted by all writers. At the end of the 16th century, some of the most popular short stories in Europe were the darkly tragic novella of Matteo Bandello, especially in their French translation. The mid-17th century in France saw the development of a refined short novel, the Nouvelle, by such authors as Madame de Lafayette. In the 1690s, traditional fairy tales began to be published. One of the most famous collections was by Charles Perrault. The appearance of Antoine Galland's first modern translation of The Thousand and One Nights or Arabian Nights from 1704, another translation appeared in 1710-12, would have an enormous influence on the 18th century European short stories of Voltaire, Diderot and others. Topic: 1790 to 1850. 
There are early examples of short stories published separately between 1790 and 1810, but the first true collections of short stories appeared between 1810 and 1830 in several countries around the same period. The first short stories in the United Kingdom were Gothic tales like Richard Cumberland's Remarkable Narrative, The Poisoner of Montremose, 1791. Great novelists like Sir Walter Scott and Charles Dickens also wrote some short stories. One of the earliest short stories in the United States was Charles Brockden Brown's Somnambulism from 1805. Washington Irving wrote mysterious tales including Rip Van Winkle 1819 and The Legend of Sleepy Hollow 1820. Nathaniel Hawthorne published the first part of his Twice Told Tales in 1837. Edgar Allan Poe wrote his Tales of Mystery and Imagination between 1832 and 1849. Poe is often given the credit by scholars such as M. H. Abrams of establishing short story as a genre of literature. Poe's classic stories are The Fall of the House of Usher, The Tell Tale Heart, the Cask of Amontillado, The Pit and the Pendulum, The Gold Bug, and The First Detective Stories, The Murders in the Rue Morgue, and The Purloined Letter. Quote dot. In The Philosophy of Composition, 1846 Poe argued that a literary work short story should be short enough for a reader to finish in one sitting. In Germany, the first collection of short stories was by Heinrich von Kleist in 1810 and 1811. The Brothers Grimm published their first volume of collected fairy tales in 1812. E. T. A. Hoffmann followed with his own original fantasy tales, of which the Nutcracker and the Mouse King, 1816, and The Sandman are the most famous. In France, Prosper Mérimée wrote Matteo Falcon in 1829. Topic: 1850 to 1900. In the latter half of the 19th century, the growth of print magazines and journals created a strong demand for short fiction of between 3,000 and 15,000 words. In the United Kingdom, Thomas Hardy wrote dozens of short stories, including The Three Strangers, 1883, A Mere Interlude, 1885, and Barbara of the House of Grebe, 1890. Rudyard Kipling published short story collections for grown-ups, e.g. Plain Tales from the Hills 1888, as well as for children, e.g. The Jungle Book 1894. In 1892 Arthur Conan Doyle brought the detective story to a new height with The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. H. G. Wells wrote his first science fiction stories in the 1880s. One of his best known is The Country of the Blind. 1904. In the United States, Herman Melville published his story collection The Piazza Tales in 1856. The celebrated Jumping Frog of Calaveras County was the title story of Mark Twain's first book one year later. In 1884, Brander Matthews, the first American professor of dramatic literature, published The Philosophy of the Short Story. At that same year, Matthews was the first one to name the emerging genre, short story. Another theorist of narrative fiction was Henry James. James wrote a lot of short stories himself, including The Real Thing, 1892, Maud Evelyn, and The Beast in the Jungle, 1903. In the 1890s Kate Chopin published short stories in several magazines. The most prolific French author of short stories was Guy de Maupassant. Stories like Boule de Cif, Ball of Fat, 1880, and Linutile Beauté, The Useless Beauty, 1890, are good examples of French realism. In Russia, Ivan Turgenev gained recognition with his story collection A Sportsman's Sketches. Nikolai Leskov created his first short stories in the 1860s. 
Late in his life Fyodor Dostoyevsky wrote, The Meek One, 1876, and The Dream of a Ridiculous Man, 1877, two stories with great psychological and philosophical depth. Leo Tolstoy handled ethical questions in his short stories, for example in Ivan the Fool, 1885, How Much Land Does a Man Need, 1886, and Alyosha the Pot, 1905. The greatest specialist of the Russian short story, however, was Anton Chekhov. Classic examples of his realistic prose are The Bet, 1889. Ward No. 6, 1892, and The Lady with the Dog, 1899. Maxim Gorky's best-known short story is Twenty-Six Men and a Girl, 1899. In the late 19th and early 20th century in India, Rabindranath Tagore published more than 150 short stories, on the lives of the poor and oppressed such as peasants, women and villagers under colonial misrule and exploitation. Some of his famous short stories include The Kabulawala, The Hungry Stone, The Wife's Letter, The Parrot's Training, and Pubishment. Tagore's contemporary, Sarat Chandra Chattopadhyay was another pioneer in Bengali short stories. Chattopadhyay's stories focused on the social scenario of rural Bengal and the lives of common people, especially the oppressed classes. His most popular short stories include, Bindu's Son, Abaji's Heaven, Mahesh, Ram's Good Lesson, Lalu, Three Parts, and the Husband The prolific Indian author of short stories Munshi Premchand, pioneered the genre in the Hindustani language, writing a substantial body of short stories and novels in a style characterized by realism and an unsentimental and authentic introspection into the complexities of Indian society. Premchand's works include over 200 short stories such as The Shroud, The Cost of Milk, and Lottery. In Poland, Bolesław Prus was the most important author of short stories. In 1888, he wrote *A Legend of Old Egypt*. The Brazilian novelist Machado de Assis was the most important short story writer from his country at the time, under influences, among others, of Xavier de Maistre, Lawrence Stern, Guy de Maupassant. In the end of the 19th century the writer João de Rio became popular by short stories about the bohemianism. Writing about the former slaves, and very ironical about nationalism, Lima Barreto died almost forgotten, but became very popular in the 20th century. In Portuguese literature, the major names of the time are Almeida Garrett and the historian and novelist Alexandra Herculano. Still influential, Eka de Queiroz produced some short stories with a style influenced by Emile Zola, Balzac and Dickens. Topic: 1900 to 1945. In the United Kingdom, periodicals like The Strand Magazine and Storyteller contributed to the popularity of the short story. Hector Hugh Munro (1870–1916), also known by his pen name of Saki, wrote satirical short stories about Edwardian England. W. Somerset Maugham, who wrote over a hundred short stories, was one of the most popular authors of his time. P. G. Woodhouse published his first collection of comical stories about Valet Jeeves in 1917. Many detective stories were written by G. K. Chesterton, Agatha Christie and Dorothy L. Sayers. Short stories by Virginia Woolf are Q Gardens, 1919, and Solid Objects, about a politician with mental problems. Graham Greene wrote his 21 stories between 1929 and 1954. A specialist of the short story was V.S. Pritchett, whose first collection appeared in 1932. Arthur C. Clarke published his first science fiction story, Travel by Wire, in 1937. Evelyn Waugh, Muriel Spark and L.P. 
Hartley were other popular British storytellers whose career started in this period. In Ireland, James Joyce published his short story collection Dubliners in 1914. These stories, written in a more accessible style than his later novels, are based on careful observation of the inhabitants of his birth city. In the first half of the 20th century, a number of high-profile American magazines such as the Atlantic Monthly, Harper's Magazine, The New Yorker, Scribner's, The Saturday Evening Post, Esquire, and The Bookman published short stories in each issue. The demand for quality short stories was so great and the money paid for such so well that F. Scott Fitzgerald repeatedly turned to short story as Matthews preferred to write it, writing to pay his numerous debts. His first collection Flappers and Philosophers appeared in book form in 1920. William Faulkner wrote over 100 short stories. Go Down, Moses, a collection of seven stories, appeared in 1941. Ernest Hemingway's concise writing style was perfectly fit for shorter fiction. Stories like A Clean, Well-Lighted Place, 1926, Hills Like White Elephants, 1927 and The Snows of Kilimanjaro 1936 are only a few pages long but carefully crafted Dorothy Parker's bittersweet story Big Blonde debuted in 1929 A popular science fiction story is Nightfall by Isaac Asimov Catherine Mansfield from New Zealand wrote many short stories between 1912 and her death in 1923. The Doll's House, 1922, treats the topic of social inequity. In Uruguay, Horatio Quiroga became one of the most influential short story writers in the Spanish language, with a clear influence from Edgar Allan Poe. He had a great skill using the supernatural and the bizarre to show the struggle of man and animal to survive. He also excelled in portraying mental illness and hallucinatory states. Two important authors of short stories in the German language were Thomas Mann and Franz Kafka. In 1922 the latter wrote, A Hunger Artist, about a man who fasts for several days. In India, the master of the short story in the Urdu language, Sadat Hassan Manto is revered for his exceptional depth, irony and sardonic humor. The author of some 250 short stories, radio plays, essays, reminiscences and a novel, Manto is widely admired for his analyses of violence, bigotry, prejudice and the relationships between reason and unreason. Combining realism with surrealism and irony, Manto's works such as the celebrated short story Toba Tech Sing are aesthetic masterpieces which continue to give profound insight into the nature of human loss, violence and devastation. Another famous Urdu writer is Ismat Hutai whose short story, Lehaf, The Quilt, on a lesbian relationship between an upper-class Muslim woman and her maid servant created great controversy following its publication in 1942. Ryunosuke Akutagawa is called the father of the Japanese short story. In Brazil, the most famous modern short story writer is Mario de Andrade. At the time, Paulistan writer Antonio de Alcantara Machado became very popular from his collection of short stories titled, Brass, Bexiga e Barra Funda about several Italian neighborhoods, but now he is mostly read in just São Paulo. Also, novelist Graciliano Ramos and poet Carlos Drummond de Andrade have significant short story works. Portuguese writers like Mario de Sá Carneiro, Florbella Espanca and Fernando Pessoa wrote well-known short stories, although their major genre was poetry. Topic: 1945 to modern day. The period following World War II saw a great flowering of literary short fiction in the United States. The New Yorker continued to publish the works of the form's leading mid-century practitioners, including Shirley Jackson, whose story, The Lottery, published in 1948, elicited the strongest response in the magazine's history to that time. 
Other frequent contributors during the last 1940s included John Cheever, John Steinbeck, Jean Stafford, and Eudora Welty. Cheever is best known for The Swimmer, 1964, which beautifully blends realism and surrealism. J. D. Salinger's Nine Stories 1953 experimented with point of view and voice, while Flannery O'Connor's well-known story, A Good Man is Hard to Find, 1955 reinvigorated the Southern Gothic style. Cultural and social identity played a considerable role in much of the short fiction of the 1960s. Philip Roth and Grace Paley cultivated distinctive Jewish-American voices. Tilly Olson's I Stand Here Ironing, 1961, adopted a consciously feminist perspective. James Baldwin's collection Going to Meet the Man, 1965, told stories of African-American life. Frank O'Connor's The Lonely Voice, an exploration of the short story, appeared in 1963. Wallace Stegner's short stories are primarily set in the American West. Stephen King published many short stories in men's magazines in the 1960s and after. King's interest is found in the supernatural and macabre. The 1970s saw the rise of the postmodern short story in the works of Donald Barthelm and John Barth. Traditionalists including John Updike and Joyce Carol Oates maintained significant influence on the form. Minimalism gained widespread influence in the 1980s, most notably in the work of Raymond Carver and Anne Beattie. Canadian short story writers include Alice Munro, Mavis Gallant, and Lynn Cody. In the year 2013 Alice Munro became the first writer of only short stories to win the Nobel Prize in Literature. Her award-winning short story collections include Dance of the Happy Shades, Lives of Girls and Women, Who Do You Think You Are?, The Progress of Love, The Love of a Good Woman and Runaway. In the United Kingdom, Daphne du Maurier wrote suspense stories like The Birds, 1952, and Don't Look Now, 1971. Roald Dahl was the master of the twist in the tale. Short story collections like Lamb to the Slaughter 1953 and Kiss Kiss 1960 illustrate his dark humor. Some of the famous Bengali short story writers of the post-Tagore and post sarat Chandra generation are Tarasankar Bandyapadhyay, Bibhuti Vushan Bandyapadhyay, Manik Bandyapadhyay, Sunil Gangapadhyay, Mahasweta Devi, Shershendu Mukhopadhyay, Suchitra Bhattacharya, Ramapada Chowdhury and Humayun Ahmed. The role of the bi-monthly magazine Desh, first published in 1933, is imperative in the development of Bengali short story. Two of the most popular detective story writers of Bengali literature are Sharadindu Bandyapadhyay, the creator of Byomkesh Bakshi, and Satyajit Ray, the creator of Feluda. The canon of Hindi short story was enriched by the contributions of Jayshankar Prasad, Amrita Pritam, Dharamvir Bharti, B. Hisham Sani, Krishna Sobti, Nirmal Verma, Kamleshwar, Manu Bandari, Harishankar Parsai and others. In Italy, Italo Calvino published the short story collection Marco Valdo, about a poor man in a city, in 1963. In Brazil, the short story became popular among female writers like Clarice Lispector, Ligia Fagundes Tells, Adelia Prado, who wrote about their society from a feminine viewpoint, although the genre has great male writers like Dalton Trevisan, Autran Durado Moesir Sklyer and Carlos Atorconi too. Also, writing about poverty and the favelas, João Antonio became a well-known writer. Other postmodern short fiction authors include writers Hilda Hilst and Caio Fernando Abreu. Detective literature was led by Rubem Fonseca. It is also necessary to mention Joao Guimarães Rosa, wrote short stories in the book Sagarana using a complex, experimental language based on tales of oral traditional. Portuguese writers like Virgilio Ferreira, Fernando Goncarves Namora and Sofia de Melo Brainer Anderson are among the most influential short story writers from 20th century Portuguese language literature. Manuel da Silva Ramos is one of the most well-known names of postmodernism in the country. Nobel Prize winner José Saramago published few short stories, but became popular from his novels. 
The Angolan writer José Luandino Vieira is one of the most well-known writers from his country and has several short stories. José Eduardo Agualusa is also increasingly read in Portuguese-speaking countries. Mozambican Mia Koto is a widely known writer of postmodern prose, and he is read even in non-Portuguese-speaking countries. Other Mozambican writers such as Suleiman Casimo, Paulina Chitsiane and Eduardo White are gaining popularity with Portuguese speakers too. The Argentine writer Jorge Luis Borges is one of the most famous writers of short stories in the Spanish language, The Library of Babel, 1941, and The Aleph, 1945, handle difficult subjects like infinity. Two of the most representative writers of the magical realism genre are also widely known Argentinian short story writers, Adolfo Bio y Casares and Julio Cortázar. The Uruguayan writer Juan Carlos Onetti is known as one of the most important magical realist writer from Latin America. In Colombia, the Nobel Prize laureate author Gabriel García Márquez is the main novelist and short story writer, known by his magical realist stories and his defense of the Communist Party in his country. The Peruvian writer Mario Vargas Loza, also a Nobel Prize winner, has significant short story works. The Egyptian Nobel Prize winner Naguib Mahfouz is the most well-known author from his country, but has only a few short stories. Japanese world-known short story writers include Kenzaburo Oe, Nobel Prize winner of 1994, Yukio Mishima and Haruki Murakami. Multi-awarded Philippine writer Peter Solis Neri is one of the most famous writers of short stories in Hiligaynon language. His stories, Lirio, 1998, Candido, 2007, Donato Bugtit. 2011, and Si Padre Olin Cag Ang Dios 2013 are all gold prize winners at the Palanca Awards of Philippine Literature. Topic: Characteristics. As a concentrated, concise form of narrative and descriptive prose fiction, the short story has been theorized through the traditional elements of dramatic structure, exposition the introduction of setting, situation and main characters, complication the event that introduces the conflict, rising action, crisis the decisive moment for the protagonist and his commitment to a course of action, climax the point of highest interest in terms of the conflict and the point with the most action, and resolution the point when the conflict is resolved. Because of their length, short stories may or may not follow this pattern. For example, modern short stories only occasionally have an exposition, more typically beginning in the middle of the action in media's res. As with longer stories, plots of short stories also have a climax, crisis, or turning point. However, the endings of many short stories are abrupt and open and may or may not have a moral or practical lesson. As with any art form, the exact characteristics of a short story will vary by creator. Topic. See also Anthology Conte Cruel Drabble Essay Flash fiction, also called microfiction, Irish short story, Literary journal, Mini saga, Novella, Sketch story, Tall tale, Vignette.